The Texas Pandemic Flu Toolkit is a set of three different online tools to help the state of Texas, the Department of State Health Services, make more effective decisions in preparing for and responding to the next pandemic. It lets them run different scenarios and come up with different strategies for effectively stockpiling and deploying limited resources like ventilators. So let me give you an example of a run that somebody did using the simulator. They wanted to know, what would happen if we have a fairly mild pandemic spread through the state of Texas? Assume it started in Travis County with 20 cases, and then we had 1 million doses of vaccine that we could distribute 200 days into the pandemic. So they run a simulation, and then the pandemic toolkit allows them to explore the results of the simulation. So here's the map. The red spots show how many cases of flu there were at each time step in the simulation, in each week of the pandemic. In this case, the epidemic started in Austin, it started spreading around the state, it moved to the big metropolitan areas, reached out into more rural areas of Texas, and then as the epidemic subsided, it ends up back in the west part of Texas and contracts back altogether. There are other tabs that allow the user to look at what happened during their simulated pandemic from different perspectives. For example, this graph is what we call a time series. It shows how many cases there are of flu in the state throughout the course of the pandemic. And here you see the different lines correspond to different age groups. Well, the user can also look at what happens geographically, how many cases there are on each day of the pandemic in the different health service regions of Texas. In this case, each curve or line corresponds to a different part of Texas. And there are other tabs that let the user explore the simulation or the scenario from other perspectives. This model, this simulation of a flu pandemic spreading through Texas includes a lot of different information about the people in the state of Texas. It includes information about how people move for work, how people move for pleasure. We know a lot about transportation patterns. And we also know a lot from the science of infectious diseases about how diseases spread through populations. And we use that to model how disease might spread through Texas and how different interventions might slow that spread. TAC has been an absolutely invaluable partner in the projects you see here. Greg Johnson built the interfaces for the three different tools. A TAC programmer helped us build the simulator that's under the hood, the simulation of how flu will actually spread through, through the state of Texas during a pandemic. I think that this particular toolkit will be used by the state of Texas to develop more effective plans for responding to the next flu pandemic and responding to other public health crises. And this is just the tip of the iceberg, the marriage between science, high performance computing, and public health. I also think that we will not only continue to work like this and develop tools for the state of Texas, but that this kind of work will be brought to the national scale in coming years.